Hi, today I want to talk to you about running Jenkins in a Docker container on a local uh, workstation, PC, or laptop. And this is a useful scenario if you just want to get a quick uh, Jenkins instance up and running, maybe test out a plugin or try, you know, a quick a job or something like that. And using Docker is really easy to make that happen. So first and foremost, you got to have uh, Docker running on your system. I've got Docker installed for Mac, so um, I'm not going to go into details of how to get it installed. But first step, make sure you have Docker running. Um, next, you're just going to run a few, uh, actually just two really easy commands. The first one is a Docker run command docker run and then we're going to give it some uh, some switches the first one is detach which means the process is going to run in the background it's not going to be interactive in our terminal and then we're going to say publish and give it a list of ports so this first port 49,000 is going to be exposed on the local host and I'll be able to browse to that in a browser the 8080 is the port that's going to be running in the container. And because the Jenkins image is a default image for the Docker registry, we can just say Jenkins and then hit enter. So the first thing it's going to do is look for an image locally and it's going to try to install it that way. Um, if you can't find it, it's going to download it. And the first time you run this, it might take some time. Uh, future instances that you spin up are going to run a whole lot faster because it's already going to have that image locally. But in this case, we got to wait for it to download. So we're just going to stand by and, and let this complete. Okay, now after the install is complete, or I should say the download is complete, Jenkins is already up and running. And one thing we want to make a note of is this string right here that gets printed to the terminal. That is the identification that's given for the container that's currently running Jenkins. But at this point, we can go to our browser and browse to localhost, and then that port 49,000 and we see we have Jenkins up and running. The first thing that you're going to see is this uh, uh, unlock screen. By default, Jenkins, Jenkins comes up in a secure fashion, and you need to get the initial admin password. And the way that we're going to do that is going back to the terminal, and we're going to run a command, another Docker command. It's the docker exec command, which lets us run a command on the actual container. Now, here's where we need the container uh, identification string. So we're just going to put that there. And then we're going to uh, copy this. This is the path that we need to read from. And the command that we're going to use is just cat. And we're going to cat that out. And as you can see, we get the initial password, which is another funky looking string. And we're just going to drop that in here. And now we're all ready to customize Jenkins. We're going to um, just go ahead and install the suggested plugins, keep things simple. Now, once this is complete, we can create an admin user if we'd like. I like to just keep it simple and just use a simple username and password, just, we're just going to paste that down. An email address is required, and we could just, um, again, give it a fake uh, email address because we're not going to really use it. Save and finish. And now we can start using Jenkins. And we're in. So that's it. That's all you need to do to get Jenkins up and running on a local install using Docker.